Here are the announcements for the week of November 1st, All Saints Day. Uh, our pumpkin patch uh, would normally be all completely gone, but guess what? Our virtual pumpkin patch is still live and available. And if you've been waiting uh, to make a donation for the community organizations that benefit people in need in our neighborhood or, and in the city and in the wider world, you still have an opportunity to visit our virtual pumpkin patch at trinitywillmet.com. And the very first picture you see will give you a link to uh, our uh, virtual pumpkin patch page. We um, traditionally have supported the Wilmette Food Pantry Boy Scout Troop 3, a Just Harvest Community Kitchen in Rogers Park, uh, the campus ministry called uh, University Christian Ministry at Northwestern, and also a variety of medical and agricultural uh, mission programs in Senegal, West Africa. And so our impact on the world can be near and far-reaching as we give uh, to support the, the Pumpkin Patch community organizations. In, uh, if, if you're looking for a way to engage people in your household around the dinner table, uh, Ellen has prepared a uh, recharge uh, dinner table devotional. The theme is about uh, connecting with your faith and, and finding energy and strength from uh, our relationship with God. And there are a number of age-oriented uh, discussion questions that you can have with uh, members of your family. And, um, you know, you could even, they don't have to be around the dinner table, you could even do it intergenerationally and, and over the phone or on a Zoom conversation with uh, grandkids and uh, grandparents. Uh, so there are a lot of ways that that tool can be useful. Uh, you can find uh, the, a copy of it uh, in our weekly e-news. During this month of, uh, of November, we're zeroing in on our special Consecration Sunday. It's our annual uh, cap, uh, stewardship campaign. We're preparing for how can we uh, offer our blessings from God to be a blessing uh, to the church and to the world for the coming year. And Consecration Sunday is a specific date, uh, November 15th. We are planning a special live worship service where you can join in person uh, for a limited number of people, that's according to the pandemic uh, measures, but also you can join live online. Uh, we're asking everyone who plans to attend that live service online or in person to uh, register, to sign up for it so that we know who to expect and, and can be attentive to you uh, as part of that worship service. So again, our, uh, you can sign up at our church website uh, um, for Consecration Sunday, uh, and we really appreciate your efforts at being part of that effort. Another opportunity is our Zoom dessert gathering. So we're not actually getting together in face-to-face -face, uh, in person. It's uh, strictly online. And the dessert part is you can eat your own dessert while you're participating in the Zoom session. Um, and it's just for fun as far as the dessert goes. But we're ha we have a special guest who is uh, Reverend Hannah Carden from Urban Village Church who will be giving an inspirational talk, and then we'll also have an opportunity for conversation and fellowship with uh, each other as members of Trinity Church. That opportunity is next Sunday, November 8, at 7 o'clock. And again, please register for it so we can make sure you have the information you need for it. We uh, also are in the practice of hearing from different people in our congregation about what Trinity means to them and why they give to Trinity Church. And today I'd like to invite you to hear what Dan Frisch has to say. My name is Dan Frisch and I'm a member of Trinity United Methodist Church. I was born to Christian parents who introduced me to faith by taking me to Sunday school and church on a weekly basis when I was young. I grew up confident in the gospel. In the middle part of my life, my faith was a lower priority for me. It was a turbulent time. Then by chance, a friend of mine, who was a member of Trinity, 
brought me to this church and introduced me to Pastor Brian Smith. I've been attending Trinity ever since, becoming a member about one year ago. In that time, I found a community that is both welcoming and accepting. Together as one congregation, we sing songs of praise, read scripture, share sacraments, and pray to our God. In this church and with Trinity's people, I have reconnected with my faith. My relationship with God has grown stronger and deeper, and my faith has transformed my life. Which brings me to this. As Trinity has given this opportunity to me, I want to support Trinity so that others will have the opportunity to come to faith, to grow in faith, and to experience the love of God. Nurturing our church with our gifts accomplishes God's, wills in other, God's will in other ways, too. Outside this congregation, Trinity supports a host of worthy groups and causes throughout the community and, in fact, the world. This church supports local campus ministries, feeding the hungry in our community, and much, much more. Within this congregation, Trinity provides beautiful music to accompany our worship, encouraging youth ministries to foster our young people, and adult Bible study to deepen our understanding of God's Word. All of this is possible by the gifts each of us have given to the church. One more thing. Some people think about giving money as a sacrifice. Other, other people consider giving as an act of grim obligation. I prefer to think about supporting Trinity as an opportunity. I have an opportunity to give back to the church that has given so much to me. And I believe that we have all received nourishment from this church, each in their own measure. As you consider your financial gift to the church for this year, I encourage you to consider all the Trinity has given to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. We want to make it easy for people to give to Trinity Church, and you can uh, mail in a contribution. You can give electronically through our church website, or um, maybe even part of your bank's bill pay system. There are lots of different ways to give, and we give thanks for your generosity and how, as we give together, it makes us strong as a church, and we can be a witness for the great love of Jesus Christ to the world. As we give ourselves to his important uh, purpose of showing people how to love God and how to love one another, especially in a time like this. Will you join me in prayer? O oh, gracious God, you have given us all that we have and made us to be who we are. All our gifts come from you. And so we ask you to take what we bring, what we offer to you, and bless it so that it may be a blessing to the world. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God Almighty, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.